My name is Angela Danilik and I'm a Senior Sustainability Specialist at the City of Vancouver. And your specialty is? Uh, biology, actually. Marine ecology, to be precise. And um, I work on adaptation to sea level rise and biodiversity at the City of Vancouver. Over the course of COP26 in the past two weeks, we've been hearing an awful lot about sea level rise, and I know this is a preoccupation of yours. This is your main focus at the City of Vancouver. Um, tell me what we're in for. Right, we are expecting about 50 centimeters of sea level rise by 2050, and then about 100 to 1.4 meters of sea level rise by 2100. And yet, we know that there'll be more sea level rise coming, perhaps 200 centimeters by 2200. And what is the impact of that on a city like this? Right. The city of Vancouver, we were, you know, built at a time when water levels were pretty predictable and we didn't know or think about sea level rise. So we are very vulnerable to the slow impact of sea level rise as well as the sudden impact of a coastal storm surge that could happen when we have a high tide and sea level rise. So that will cause overland flooding mm -hmm. within our communities. Um, and let's talk about the St. Paul's Hospital site because, again, uh, in the predictions, that's going to be potentially underwater by 2100. What has been done to mitigate the impact of sea level rise on that site? So over the lifetime of that hospital, it will experience a range of climate impacts, extreme heat, drought, extreme rain, also coastal flooding. And so um, we think it's the first time in Canada that a complex health facility like St. Paul's has gone through such a comprehensive climate risk assessment. So they're doing that and they're actually building the hospital to five meters, um, so quite high. And is this the future of this, this city? I mean, with all of the development that we see uh, shoring up against sea level rise. Yes, it is. I mean, we're a coastal community. We're going to have to respond to sea level rise. Um, we're not alone in this challenge. There are other cities around the world who are also responding. And for areas like False Creek, I mean, we can expect to see in the future, you know, different um, shorelines, softer shorelines that are raised higher. You know, the seawall might move either in elevation or in location as we respond to um, sea level rise and coastal flooding. Um, when it comes to mitigating the overall impacts of climate change, does this feel like a defeat? I think it feels like a challenge. I mean, it's irreversible. Sea level rise is here with us, so we need to do something. This opportunity to adapt is a really great chance for us to change things, to make our shorelines um, you know, more suitable for canoe culture, for um, more hospitable for forage fish. We have herring in False Creek, so we can make you know a home for them while protecting ourselves, our critical infrastructure, and things like the, you know, the roads that keep keep our businesses, you know, running. Are you going to eat fish out of False Creek? <laughs> well, not yet, but I know sometime in the future I will be able to. Um, we have had uh, a heat wave over the summer that killed 600 people. We've had, I don't know if these storms are normal for this time of year, we've had a tornado touchdown at UBC. Um, this, this is happening right now, is it not? Yes, climate change is happening right now. We are experiencing it. I guess the question I get asked all the time is, where is the urgency? Yeah, it's a difficult question. I mean, leadership matters. Um, leadership at all levels of government is really key to advancing climate action. That being said, there's a lot of grassroots activity happening that is moving climate action forward. So it's my hope that, you know, COP26, that they will deliver some stronger language, that they won't water it down. But that being said, I mean, we still have to take action. We still have to do the work. Um, you know, the ocean's not going to stop rising. Um, so come Friday, if they water it down or not, I'll still be here trying to figure out <laughs> what to do about sea level rise with my colleagues. Right. Angela, thank you so much. Thank you.